I feel like it was an accident. I feel like it was a little negligent. A Maconaqua High School senior shot and killed. Prosecutors say her boyfriend pulled the trigger. Tonight, the parents of Hannah Cox speak out for the first time about losing their daughter at the age of 18. They sat down with WRTV Investigates Kara Kenny to talk about how they are using their loss to help others. Guns are the leading cause of death among children and teens in Indiana, killing 110 young people a year, according to the group Everytown for Gun Safety. Hannah Cox's parents support responsible gun ownership 100%, but say more education is needed, especially among teens. Hannah Cox was a free spirit who loved to be outside, according to her mom, Mindy McKee. She was very connected with the earth and animals from the littlest age that she could speak. Um, she'd be in the hallway talking to an ant. She was always out trying to do something extreme, something exciting. Hannah's dad, Robert Cox, has been in law enforcement for 17 years and took Hannah's shooting throughout her life. Hannah had a knowledge of how firearms worked. On February 24th, Mindy was FaceTiming with Hannah and her boyfriend, Jeremiah Smith, someone well known to their family. They were joking and laughing. They were coming here for dinner. Hannah was on Capehart Street in a neighborhood near Grissom Air Reserve Base. And then I had done her all of her laundry that day and I asked her what she wanted hung up, what she wanted folded and and then um, her boyfriend was just like, oh, your mommy still does your laundry. And they were kind of just joking back and forth and laughing. And we got to say, I love you when we hung up. Shortly after, Mindy and Robert both got separate phone calls that Hannah had been shot. They raced to the scene. I just said, just tell me, just tell me, just tell me. And they told me and I just fell to the ground and couldn't say anything and just... It's like part of me left at that moment. <laughs> just physically, just couldn't walk. Their daughter, Hannah Cox, was dead at the age of 18. Prosecutors allege her boyfriend, Jeremiah Smith, was showing Hannah the gun. He thought it wasn't working and was attempting to fix it. Court records allege Smith admitted to pointing it at Hannah's shoulder and pulling the trigger. He's charged with three felonies, involuntary manslaughter, criminal recklessness, and pointing a firearm. Do you feel that what happened to her was an accident? Absolutely, I feel like it was an accident. I feel like it was a little negligent. It's from a lack of training and experience and knowledge, and it could have been prevented if those training and knowledge was there for everyone. Both Mindy and Robert hope to work with state lawmakers and schools to increase education for young people about proper handling of firearms. I'm one of the most pro-gun owning people there is. I mean, I, I, I've always supported gun ownership. That's one of the things with the younger cultures, they think that they can just watch TV and then get a firearm and carry it, but that's not it. I mean, there needs to be some kind of, you know, training other than just TV shows, you know, and there's not a lot out there. No way. Where Hannah's life ended sits a memorial with trinkets and memories left by friends and family. She really just had a true heart and gave her all to her friends and her family. She didn't want anybody to go without. Hannah always wanted to take a motorcycle ride on Route 66. Her gravesite is marked with Hannah's dream. A dream Robert still plans to make happen this summer with Hannah's closest friends. We plan on leaving the week after graduation. We're going to still do the trip. So we're going to do Route 66 from Chicago to Santa Monica and come back. We're going to definitely still do that in her honor. 
Robert Cox is a police officer with the Jonesboro Police Department in Grant County. He's had to notify families about their loved ones deaths in the past, but believes his experience with losing Hannah will help him in that unimaginably hard task. He says he wants to be a support system for other families moving forward. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. Such a sad story, Kara. Thank you. And Jeremiah Smith has requested a public defender. We have reached out to him for a statement and we are still waiting to hear back. He is scheduled for a hearing on April 28th.